Okay, hi everyone. It's an honor to be here with all of you this evening. Um, let me start by introducing myself. My name is Chen Zhongmin, and I'm a SMP instructor at SMP Center in Gangnam. And I'm doing master degree of physical education at Pacific Intercontinental College. I'm here today to talk to you about how we how will we deal with chronic pain in the future? As you can see on the screen, the topic today is chronic pain, and I will talk about four different points. My first question will be, what is pain? Then I will move on to what chronic pain is. After that, I will talk about the current treatments for chronic pain, and finally, I will end with why SMP is the future of a chronic pain treatment. Now, everyone please raise your hand if you have suffered from any physical pain. 자, 만약에 내가 살면서 한 번이라도 통증이 겪을, 통증이 그런 고통을 겪은 분들 한번 손을 들어볼게요. 감사합니다. 네, 맞죠? 그래서 pain is always around us. Well, the IASP or International Association for the Study of Pain describe pain as an unpleasant sensory and emotional experience connected with actual or potential tissue damage. But did you know that there is other types of pain such as chronic pain. What is chronic pain? Simply put, chronic pain is the pain that lasts a long time for over 12 years to several years. But there are two types of pain, acute pain and chronic pain. As you can see, there are two types of pain. The first is acute pain, and the second is chronic pain. Acute pain usually comes suddenly and is caused by something specific. For example, broken bones, surgery, dental work, buns, and label, and childbirth. After acute pain goes away, you can live your life as usual. As I mentioned before, chronic pain usually lasts longer than six months and can continue even after the injury or illness that cause it has healed or gone away. Also, some people suffer chronic pain even when there is no past injury or damage to the body. Some types of chronic pain are headache, arthritis, cancer, nerve pain, and back pain, and so on. So people who have a chronic pain can have a physical effects that are stressful on the body. But there are some treatments for chronic pain. Nar narcotics, steroids, muscle relaxants, and pet therapy and counseling. There are a lot of treatments for chronic pain. But there is a new treatment that is the future of a chronic pain relief. So treatments have changed a lot for several years, but we have solution. The solution is the SMPE. So what does SMP stand for and what is it? Well, SMP stands for Self Natural Posture Exercise. This means that exercise is practiced to recover the natural posture of a human body by itself. What is SMPE? The future of a chronic pain relief. SMP applies orthopedic principles to the spine, pelvis, and other body parts and is performed by binding the legs and pelvis with SMP correction belts. For example, just like teeth are set or aligned to their original places using outside forces such as braces and springs. 
Elastic band or inelastic bands can be used to correct deformed legs, spine, and the pelvis to correct posture. Here's some results collected from research done on SMPE. As you can see, research on SMPE effects of a, a sports psychology of Seoul University was done on around 1,500 cases with different types of chronic pain. Of 177 participants who complained of a headache, 82% of them, or 96 people, say that were relieved of their, their pain. Of 608 people complaining of back pain, 472 or 77.6% 7 say they were relieved of their back pain. So 54.2% to 82% say they felt the therapeutic effect on SMP. So this is really amazing. So what does all of this mean? Right now, SMP is mainly only recognized in Korea. But just like K-pop, Korean food, Korean electronics, and Korean culture, SMP can be the next Korean export to spread like wildfire all over the world. This means that SAP has the potential to be recognized worldwide. So in conclusion, if we work all harder to give more exposure to SAP, then we can one day hope to implement this treatment for people with chronic pain, not only in Korea, but all over the world. As the famous author Carlos once said, we either make ourselves miserable or we make ourselves strong. The amount of work is the same. Um, 이건 카로스라는 굉장히 유명한 작가님께서 말씀하신 얘긴데, 우리는 우리 스스로 비참하게 만들 수도 있고, 우리 스스로 강하게 만들 수도 있다. 그렇게 들어가는 힘의 양은 똑같다. 라는 말을 했어요. 그래서 마지막으로 제가 이 말을 준비한 이유는 어차피 우리가 똑같은 양의 노력을 해야 한다면 SMP라는 올바른 선택을 했으니 우리가 다음 목표인 글로벌 SMP를 위해서 다 함께 노력하는 강사가 되었으면 좋겠습니다. So going global SMP. Thank you.